Any advice for budding business owners? Don't do it. <laughs> hey guys, I'm Brian. I'm one of the co-owners of Piccoli Loti. I'm Yi Seng and Brian and myself have been doing this for close to seven years now. How much did it cost to start your business? We can't share the exact figure but it's not a low sum so it takes quite a bit to do up the store properly. I think most of it was from our savings as well as funding from friends and family. Try to avoid loans in the beginning itself because you don't want to start a business worrying about the interest and monthly payment. You don't want to have the added pressure of paying back somebody and then lead you to making decisions that you shouldn't be making. Worst customer experience? We had a customer from overseas. They ordered delivery as a gift. It didn't go according to plan. They got hold of my number and they called. How did they get your number? I'm so curious. My staff. <laughs> Beyond my pay grade. There, yeah. take it and go. So if I was looking for a business partner, what are some qualities that I should look out for? The values really need to align. So let's just say, I stand by this value and he's like, oh, actually I'm willing to compromise on it. And you have to make that decision. Both of y'all will be... <laughs> It won't stop there, right? it'll be a constant source of conflict. Anything else actually you can learn, but yep. the person's values is sometimes very hard to change. People say always follow your passion and I passionately love to eat ice cream and gelato. So I thought, oh, I won't get bored of this. I always wanted a, a business that brings joy to people. And I don't think so anybody comes out of a gelato shop crying unless they just broke out. So Unless the gelato is too good. <laughs> <laughs>